Hi, good morning all. Yeah, in today's session, we talk about the microservice architecture in a Spring Boot. It is similar for, for all, all other. We are just considering Spring Boot because we are in, in currently in a sync for, for Spring Boot. Means multiple sessions are going around the Spring Boot. You can check our uh, Spring Boot playlist and go through each each and every section so you get in details. Uh, these layer we multiple times we talk about. Uh, just represent, re, uh, reiterating over it uh, like end user. This is end user or the browser. Okay. Browser access R. APIs or the web pages. Okay, I say web application. Okay, web application connect with the presentation layer, presentation layer, which is mean like HTML or the rest endpoints. Okay, these are connected with the service layer. This is a business logic, business logic. Okay, these will connect to the DAO layer, DAO layer, that is known as a persistent layer. Also means here we are storing the data, and that goes into database. So this is the flow. We multiple time we discuss this flow means how how the data goes from one. One, one layer to another layer in a monolith application it's happened like the same it's it's one by one it's data going and it's a stack kind of thing means end user connect at this everything is resides in a one one application like presentation layer service layer persistent layer db everything is the same and this is the multi models like in in, in our application suppose our uh paytm is the consider paytm is our system so inside that if paytm currently it's a microservices but consider for our use cases this is one one monolithic application in that you have the login thing you have the payment you have the mall and you have the another part uh, login thing payment mall and qr code scan or paytm wallet wallet is so all four models combine all together and every have this flow from start to end it means four flow implicitly inside that this is just an implicitly but and and for these thing everyone login required another database like login database payment thing required transaction database wallet required bank details database and shopping mall required mall database so this this is the kind of complex architecture is there in a pay in, in, a, in a monolithic application so uh, that's why microservice architecture came into picture because this is so much complex and if you want to change there is expertise is required because if I did the change at here my whole application gets down if I load all the mall data in, in mall application then CPU and thread memory all, all are get high and my whole system get impacted means login paytm and wallet no changes happen at these three point but still this, these three are three part or three model are impacted that's why in a monolithic application we break down each system and try to reduce the impact okay that's the use of or use of microservice or why people are moving from monolithic to microservices okay yeah that's the basic step we'll go as a deeper yeah we talk about the two large systems difficult to maintain you check that if, if redeployment is required suppose something changes we did for model mall model shopping mall model but the login these three also get impacted because all are club to kill as a package so downtime required for login service payment and wallet service okay that's why Whole application need to down. That's why also we are moving from monolithic to mon. Onboard this was onboarding is a difficult because every means every service is need to know. If people are start working into this this application, so he should have the idea login and all this because it's the tightly coupled thing. If you do changes related to login, everything is handled through the service like method to method call. So that that required to expertise or the business more business logic is required. Horizontal scaling is not required because suppose my payment uh, users are increased, so I try to increase the resource horizontal scaling means what this is the current application and if this is a one application if i replicate that two and three that way it cost get means the the the, the scale will get increased like currently if this this application supports uh 500 qps 500 query per second if i multiply that it should ideally support 5 1500 qps but that's not the case because 1500 qps it's for the four all here all the memory going to waste for these three because here scaling is not required only these portion scaling is required so that's why I am saying that these these are the three are going vestige. So yeah, that is why horizontal scaling is not efficient or not possible in, in monolithic application. Uh, apart from difficult to adopt the new technologies like like uh, uh, like login, if I build a Scala, and uh, then I need to define all the four models in a Scala. Or if I choose login for Java, then all the things need to define into Java because it's tightly coupled. I cannot in in a single package or a single application I cannot choose multiple languages. That's also one disadvantage and not re reliable because uh, I already talked that if the performance bug I uh, during the last release of the shopping mall app, uh, shopping mall I did some code changes and due to that threads are getting into deadlock then my whole system get crash okay that's why it's not reliable it should be very tightly coupled okay that are the main disadvantages that's why everyone want to move from monolithic service to microservice okay.